G'day subscribers, today we're going to jive talk just about NASCO accessories for your car. You're with Jules Knight on Jive Talking Garage. <laughs> So I've been asked by one of our subscribers, what are your favourite accessories, Jules? Well, I think I think the purpose you buy accessories for is to make the job of the the driver and the passenger easier or more comfortable, certainly more comfortable for your your passenger. Um, it's uh, it's pretty important. Um, and uh, let's face it, the most important person in the car is the driver. So you need to make things um comfortable no distractions all those sorts of things so look one of the things that i noticed in my ute was um in uh, in summertime it was it, it'd get hot particularly here in queensland and you'd have to wind the windows open you'd open the quarter vents and point them in at the at the driver and the passenger you'd have the venties uh, we'll do the venties on another episode but you'd have the venties scooping air from the outside down to the floor and then it coming up uh, onto the driver and the passenger and you'd also open up the uh, cowl vent as well and you'd get really good ventilation through an FJ, be it a sedan, a ute or a panel vent, didn't really matter. But one of the things that I did with my ute to, um, to supplement that and make it a little bit better was I went and I bought one of these Y-Brock uh, fans. Now they come in 6 volt and 12 volt and that obviously why brock was think of today's rep code that's why brock um so i've seen four in my time and um yeah they're a nice little piece of kit um now they will come five actually i've seen five now there's one on ebay last week and i really liked it some um, curve um base but anyway so the base for this is in the Y-Brock kit of tools together with the um, push-pull switch and so on but anyway so it's a little motor and a push-on fan that simple um, these are really effective um, they're uh, point and spin um the, the the plastic blade is a very soft plastic material that they, they they won't they're designed not to hurt anybody uh, even if you do put your you know your finger on the blade while it's spinning but um generally speaking um you know there's, there's no issue with them at all and they are terrific um it made it easy for when you know my wife would be on the car i'd just point the fan on her and you know just let it go because i you know, I, I knew it was, um, uh, I wanted to try and make her experience when, we're, when we were out in the FJ as, as pleasant as possible. So um, that's, anyway, that's what I would do. So that was that was, that was my thing with my FJ. So I, um, I had one on my ute um, and it was so good. My, uh, my, my mates bought one as well for the, for the other panel van. So that was good, but generally speaking, the NASCO fans are beauty. Now, let's talk about making life convenient for you in the car. So when you get in, it's really good to be able to not grab the door handle and people to close it with that or the, or hold onto the door or whatever. They ergonomically want to grab something. And ordinarily, they have these things. They're called uh, pull-to-door handles. So they're... They're manufactured by Lenlock, and you'll see Lenlock written inside there, L-E-N-L-O-K. So that's how you'll find them at a swap meet or eBay, auction site, whatever the, whatever it is. But these are used to to close a door easily, and I, I really I really like these. Um, I had them on my ute. I've got a set of four for my next project, 
and uh, yeah that should be really good I'm really looking forward to that so that's the pull two door handles now also <clears throat> Um, some of the things that I, I'm looking for to make your life easier. Um, now I'm just trying to find the right thing here. Aha, it escapes me. Now, I, I've got two of these. I've seen two. I've got two. Now, this is a glove box door, glove box door light. So you open the glove box door. You open the glove box door, and this little push switch opens up, and therefore then the light comes on. So it's a matter of running it to power. Two little screws on the um, top opening of your of your glove box, and that will that will run your um your switch once you've powered it up and then that gives it earth so therefore you have a complete circuit when this is touching so it's a very very simple apparatus inside but um oh, look i th i think that coupled with a few others um particularly make life really easy for a you know passenger when they're looking in your glove box for something so i really like that i think that's that's a great idea now one of the other things that I like in the cabin is um, is one of these. Now, I've got this in white and green. I'd only seen them in white before, but um, these are a little temperature gauge. Now, it's still working. It's in Fahrenheit, um, and they're a suction cap job. Su suction cap job. Um, so, you know, I'll clean that all up with... A soft abrasive cleaner and put a, a new suction cap on that one and then it'll be ready to be uh, put back in uh, in service on an FJ so they come in a lovely little box the white ones there green ones there so you know that's a that's a great little thing um, now, I've seen these new, and they look beautiful when they're new. Uh, as when I say new, I mean in new old stock. Mine, mine aren't. Uh, mine were a little bit damaged when I got them, but hey, they're better than nothing. And that's called an ornamental jewel. So they're about the size they're of a 50 cent piece, right? And they're a badge. And the Accelerator magazine will say just say that they're a beautification ornament that can be placed on the bonnet, on the sides of the bonnet, um, inside the car, on the back guards, or on um, a tailgate of a ute. So you can actually see they've got two little studs here that have speed clips on them. So I've shown subscribers how to make templates to mount things. Well, this is no different. This is how you would mount these. Um, I've got a, a, a couple of those, um, one better than the other. But um, generally speaking, um, you know, they look nice in a car. I saw one one fellow, he um, he snapped the the studs off um, and put fridge magnets on the back of it so he can just magnetise it and put it on the dash so that he doesn't have to, um, does not have to um, drill any holes. Fair enough. Now, one of the other things that makes life easy for a passenger and a driver is armrests. So armrest goes on the obviously the side of the door trim and there are some holes that are in there and it's a case of um, uh, you know they, they take quite coarse screws and then they they go through these two holes that are already subset into the door and and these go into those lugs and you know really they're for resting. The pull two door handles would be the ones that you used to shut the door and this is just to you know rest your arm on as you're traveling now these were standard equipment shall we say on a on a special um or you know you paid the extra money to buy them for your standard ute or panel van and that was a comma in between each of those so um armrests are really really good so anyway
that's going for the armrest. Now, sticking with the inside of the car, um, I really like this. Um, this is a dash rack, and you know, it, it's a case of this just had a little bit of moisture on them, and then they suctioned to the top of the dashboard. So ordinarily you'd see them underneath the mirror um, and then there, you know, people would put whatever sunglasses or whatever was the case um, inside the dash rack. I've seen them in the wire configuration. I've seen them in plastic as well. Um, either way, really nice little article and, and just makes things comfortable for when you're inside the car, when you're driving along. No, I, I really like that. Um, you can't beat having a bit of comfort as you're driving along. So um, I like that. And, and also, in sticking with the inside of the car, these things are pretty good. Um, I had them on my NASCAR panel van. And when these came up, I thought, you beauty, I'm going to buy these as well. For the uh, next FJ, and uh, the thing I liked about these ones is, is with my panel van, I actually had to put holes through the water wave hood lining. But with with these ones, I don't. Um, they are they are a lens that folds down from your internal sun visor, just to you know give you sunglasses when you're not wearing sunglasses, really. And they are attached these by this clamp. So this clamp will attach onto the end of your sun visor. It will be like so. When you need it, you pull it down. And then as you're driving along there, it just sort of blocks a little bit of the sun for you. And I really like that idea. As soon as I saw it, I thought, you beauty, I'm going to get me a pair of them. And as soon as I, com I uh, confirmed that there was two in the deal, because last time I only had the one, um, I thought... I'll take both of those and that'll just make driving just in that FJ a little bit easier. And I, I, I thought that's, um, that's great. But look, what we've done today is we've given you a quick hit on some NASCO accessories for the inside of the car. Um, so they're really just to make driving and being a passenger inside of an FX or an FJ just that little bit easier. Have a look at... Uh, our um, Facebook um, group, Drive Talking Garage. See what all the things we're doing over there and whatever we're showing and what shows are coming up and what's going on and what other swap meets are we're advising people. We try and keep it a little bit quirky for all of our, um, our members. So don't forget to uh, share, like, and subscribe. But more importantly, enjoy your holding. Yeah.